You've worked on Fermat's last theorem. Yeah. Uh, what result did you produce? Okay, so Manuel Blum is my advisor. You know, Linda Kavner at Fed had said, go work with Manuel Blum. I said, okay. So I did that. Manuel was an incredibly great teacher and an incredibly brilliant and inventive guy. You know, working outside the box, you know, he, he was a master at that. He come up with ideas that had nothing to do with anything that had preceded, preceded them, sui generis. And, uh, and so I was working on number theory and various other things when I was a graduate student. And because I was, you know, such a purist, um, I remember going into Manuel's office one day and I said, you know, I think I'm going to work on Fermat's last theorem. And most advisors might, you know, give me a cautionary sort of, well, you know, maybe you should try <laughs> something, right, because Fermat's last theorem is, was open for 350 years and was the greatest most famous open problem in all of mathematics, subsequently settled by Andrew Wiles in a you know, great master work. And, uh, and so, uh, but Manuel said, oh yeah, that's a good idea. And so he gave me license to go, you know, work on Fermat's last theorem. And I think, it, you know, it's very good advice. I'd like to give it to young uh, researchers, um, don't sell yourself short. Um, you don't know how well you can do. Maybe you can do great things, but you'll never find out if you only work on small things, right? And and uh, uh, so, a certain amount of courage. Uh, is warranted. And if you try for really hard things, you usually fail. But you'll learn tremendous amounts in the process and you'll be able to prove, use those tools to prove lots of very worthy results. But just don't, don't settle for less if you don't have to. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, yeah, so um, Manuel sort of taught me that lesson and, you know, I seized on So I started working on Fermat's last theorem and uh, at one point produced a really nice result together with uh, Heath Brown and Ivanitz. And uh, uh, we produced something about the so-called first case of Fermat's last theorem, infinitely many primes. And this was mm -hmm. sort of the first time, I guess you could argue that something had passed the finitely many cases, you know, rounding. So I was very pleased with that result, and we published that, and uh, uh, that, was, that was nice. Uh, of course, Andrew Wiles was to come along and, uh, you know, just blow the whole thing out of the water, and, uh, uh, you know, just brilliant stuff.